Glioblastoma is uh, the most aggressive form of brain cancer, and it is the most common uh, form of brain cancer affecting adults. Glioblastoma can be um, associated with neurologic deficits, such as weakness, numbness, uh, tingling, trouble walking, trouble speaking. Sometimes it presents with a seizure. Standard treatment for glioblastoma includes surgery, which he's undergone. Uh, once you have recovery from surgery, patients typically get treated with six weeks of radiation with chemotherapy. And following their radiation, they normally have maintenance chemotherapy for up to a year. There's also been a new treatment recently FDA approved uh, that has patients wear uh, leads on their head that provide alternating electrical fields uh, while they get, receive their maintenance chemotherapy. Unfortunately, there is no cure and our thoughts and prayers are with the senator. And right now with aggressive treatment, surgery, chemotherapy, radiation, and even alternating uh, electrical fields results in a median survival of about 15 to 20 months. The take home message for patients who are diagnosed with GBM is that there is still a lot of hope and there is exciting research being conducted at centers such as at the University of Florida. We see over 2,600 brain tumor patients a year here and this research which is funded by the federal government and the NIH is critical for improving outcomes for patients. And so surgery, chemotherapy, radiation, they do improve survival. Obviously they have not provided a cure and we have to continue to search for the cure because it's out there. We just have to find it.